What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? Uh, what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man today y'all see what we got going on tnt with grandma now gonna compare data this video i split it up because i like i need to show y'all the previous data and talk about how each change progressed with each time man because i told y'all i'm gonna show y'all everything on this call this will be learning for my people that want to learn something this and that so i'm gonna show y'all that uh i got i got it all switched up you can tell that tote was carbureted. Definitely different when they're cranking it up or whatever. Let me step back so I'll be out the wind. But uh, that that tote was carbureted, man. They just part. That's a property of some of them until they get fine tuned, especially when they're colder. It's colder. It take it a few long more seconds to start the idle. But uh, that's just what it is. It's a give and take of them. That's why R and B like that too. Every time cranking it up, and it's a uh, draw through blower carburetor too. But first. I'm about to um go ahead and talk some talk the antifreeze off, put some antifreeze in it. And then we're gonna go ahead and get it done because it do supposed to rain uh later today. And I gotta run by AutoZone and switch something up too, man. Cause I got my commercial order delivered. I gotta do all this stuff, oil change for the, the L150 oil change for wife Escalade, change the wiper blades on the L150, and I already changed the wiper blades on R&B because they needed. But I'm finna talk the antifreeze off. So we're gonna go ahead and shake down while the road dry. And uh we're gonna see get the new data, new at time since I uh downgraded the carburetor and intake, and then we're gonna see what it do, man. So y'all just stay tuned. I'm gonna see y'all on the GoPro. Alright, y'all, we're taking in, taking in, man. We're headed. Headed to Mexico. Uh see what this thing ain't gonna do. I know what I'm hoping for, but it depending on traction basically depending on traction, man, but this thing ain't pretty balanced. It ain't got, uh, it ain't got too little power and it ain't got uh, too much power, so it's pretty balanced. So, let's see, it feel like I got more lower end torque, but we'll be in spot in a minute, man. Y'all stay tuned. Man, I, I got 
I got some of them aiming for now. Man, I ain't gonna be able to make one. I ain't gonna do it at all. Let me see. Nah, we ain't gonna be able to do it, man. We got one coming. I would, I would. We're gonna make one on the way back. We're gonna make one on the way back. That's what we'll do. We'll make, uh, yeah, one on the way back, man. But, uh, I'm gonna turn y'all back on, car. I got something I wanna see now. I definitely got something I wanna see. Did better than what I expected. So, y'all just stay tuned. Start dropping some rain, man, like a little cloud cover coming. We're gonna see if we get one more. Right quick. Alright, let's see. Get it better. y'all so y'all see i got grandma nana put up man it had started raining uh but just like just like i told y'all oh let me show y'all too what i got for man from autozone i had to go switch something out but while i was there i said man let me go ahead and get this so got a new air cleaner car they can't have no air cleaner and a little stud stud kit so i got the black or whatever car I might keep the black theme. I'm going to change the valve covers on that car. They they ain't they ain't the uh cleanest. And I don't know, they might come clean though. They might come clean, man. I might sell them or something, but that the only thing I hate about the serpentine, the one belt. The one belt set up like that, I love it, but I hate it. I hate it because it hides your heads and stuff and all that. You got aluminum on there, which that that car don't have aluminum heads on it. It got an aftermarket head on it, but it's an aftermarket iron head. Uh, which I'm gonna change them too. I'm gonna change. I'm putting my combo. It's already halfway my combo now. Uh, like I tell y'all, the bottom end is the bottom end. You can buy a short block, and it got flat tops or domes or whatever in it. That ain't nothing special about that. That ain't that ain't the combo. That's not the combo when it comes to the engine, really. I mean, they got something to do with your compression. But a bottom end is a bottom end. If you were going to do a flat top four eyebrow uh, relief engine or a flat top two eyebrow relief. Or one eyebrow lead. That's what you were gonna do. If you buy it from somebody like that, that's not that don't mean hey, that's they combo. That's what you were gonna do. Ain't nothing special about a bottom end rotating uh a bottom end rotating assembly. The combo is in the head gasket, the uh the cam shaft choice, the head, the top end. The top end, man, that's where your power is. That's where your power is. And that that right there is pretty much halfway. Halfway, I don't spec everything now. I don't respect the whole back of the car. See the converter, the converter spec by DJ. Uh, like I said, but I I told him we need to downsize it. So I already knew that. I made that call on it. Uh, I made the call on the rear end, the gear, uh, and the rear end, the fuel pump, intake, carburetor, and I'm gonna change the heads. I'm gonna change the heads and uh, I'm gonna take the head gaskets. I got a um. I gotta, I gotta sit down, punch some numbers, see where I want my running compression at. 
and stuff, and then you can just time it accordingly and all that, man. But like I said. It's gonna be a punk. It's still a punk gear. It's gonna always remain punk gear. 93 octane, and I still probably eventually change that engine, man. I probably change that engine. I probably get all I can get out of that, and uh, make it my combo. Then when I pull it, I sell it, and then I'm gonna put one that I do from scratch. Another one of my combo from scratch, like Dolo, but nowhere near that. Uh, nowhere near that extreme. Which, like I said, that's reliable too. It's a reliable car, but I'm just saying nowhere near that extreme on the power, on the power spectrum. Uh, but so, all right, let, let's let's review data. Let's review data. So when I first got this car, let me see. I ran it as soon as I got it. Uh, let me let me open up my drag log. I keep everything safe. When I first got it, now I'm talking about didn't touch nothing. Let's see. I need to set y'all down, man. Let me set y'all down so I can. If the wind get to blowing in the camera, I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't, I ain't got my microphone. But I try to speak up so y'all can hear me. All right. So, I know that wind blowing. Telling y'all, I got so many logs, man. Oh, uh, let's see. Boy, I got a lot of. Ooh, wee. Oh, now nah, hold on. I know what. It ain't under. Man, where is it? I done ran the joke. So. Oh, here, here we go. Nope, that ain't it. Let's see. Golly, boy. Realize I be running so much, man. Today been a good week. This week been a good week, too, man. Two new personal bets on two of the car. A personal bets on brown coat. And a personal bets on nano today. It's a good week. Got to know what to do with these car, man. Uh, I should have had this stuff ready, man, but... It was a nine something basically. It was a nine something, man. Let me see. See, that ain't it, man. God, I really run that much. I guess I do. God, I just see the one where I changed the rear end. So it's before that. I'm telling y'all, man, I, I run. I run this call. I run these calls a lot. It might have been a 10 something reason I can't, uh, let's see some. I think it was a 10 too. My bad, y'all. Y'all bear with me, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to tell y'all, cause I want y'all to see step by step, step by step, how they car progress. Uh, I'm telling you, like I knocked, I knocked that time down a lot. Every time I did some, I knocked it, I knocked the ET down. See, there it is. Okay, new transmission. That joker went a nine, some man. I can't find it. Oh, I probably saved it wrong. Me, uh, brown coat, RB. That ain't it. Man, I ain't gonna be able to find it, y'all. I'm gonna have to do a later video showing y'all this stuff when I got it in order. But I remember it was nine something. Let me go back. I found where I put the new transmission in there. But it ran a nine. If I go back and look at that time, then I can tell y'all. Okay. All right. Now it ran a 10. 10 17. I think what it ran 10 17 or 10 23. When I first got that car, before I did anything, that car went a 10 in the eighth of mile. It went a 10, man. I remember telling wife to come back. I said, man, I said, this, this joke. Well, I ain't, ain't said it like that. I said, this joke slow, boy. I said, this joke slow, man. She like, it ride good, though. I said, yeah, it ride good. I'm like, man, I ain't tripping. We're going to fix that. We're going to fix it. That joke went a 10 something in the eighth of mile. 
And it wasn't no missing gear. I'm talking about everything it had. I said, nah. But think think about it. It didn't have a ring back there. Had a two some ring and pinion. Uh, one tire. The converter was too big. The fuel pump was messed up. The transmission was messed up. Uh, <laughs> the carburetor was oversized. The intake was oversized. I was like, they took one a 10 something. A 10, I was like, man, oh, nah. So, first thing, the, com the, the transmission went out. It flatlined. So I said, I got to go ahead and address this. Fix the transmission. It went, fix the transmission, that joke went a 982 off of a transmission chain in the right converter, downside in the converter. The stall was, it had a 3,000 converter in it, 3,000 stall converter, a 10 inch. That one of the smaller ones. Didn't need all that. Went to a 12 inch, 2,500 stall converter. That joke was knocked off. Four tenths. Four tenths now. That's a lot in racing. Four tenths. Downsizing the converter. Fixing the transmission. When a nine, 982. So after that, we fixed the, uh, I fixed the fuel pump. Cause like I said, it probably bust the diaphragm in it. And Doug will just shoom. Shoom gas out the top of it. But, uh, let's see. I done passed it, man. I got too many runs in here, boy. All right, here we go. Change the rear end. Now it went a 982. All right, with new converter. Change the rear end. That was me and Rick did that. That joke went a 899. But I was so hyped, I said, oh, we hit the eights. It hit the eights. So I knocked almost two seconds off just that quick. Change the, then I went to a uh, Holly. I went to a highly manual fuel pump. I ain't need no electric fuel pump. Went to a highly aftermarket manual fuel pump. I said, they're going to supply enough. It did what it do. And that joke went to 899. Hit the eights. Hit the eights in the, uh, on the hard tie. Hit the eights, man. I said, I was hyped. And that's when the electrical stuff happened. That same day, I hit that 899. I came back and made another, I was finna make another run. Then that joke was cut off. So we went from a 982. Trying to wait the wind stop. Put a ring in it. 342 ring and pinion. And that joke would knock almost a second off. From a 982 to an 899. It probably did knock a second off. If I drive it, the more you drive it, and get you fix the shield points, man, you probably can get it to go faster. But it probably would have went a 889 or something. If I all the, everything it got, all the drive. So 899. Here we are, the 899 personal best. And now, then all that happened, you know, first change the carburetor. Call the carburetor. Once it got the ignition fixed, the, the front bowl flooded, man, just pouring, pouring gas in there. So, y'all know I bought the Holly carburetor. Downsized it. It was a 750 carburetor on there. I keep telling people, people think 750 is a universal size. You put 750 on everything. No. The at most car, most street rod running around don't even need a 750. That, that fact. Most street rods do not even need a 750. A 650 is ample enough. So, I know that joke didn't go in the garage. So, uh, that bird went in the garage. Hold on, y'all. So we're trying to go in there, y'all. We're trying to get in there. But yeah, uh, uh, a 650 ample enough. So we downside the carburetor to a 650. Then we found out the intake problem. I like, well, I might as well take the intake off now. I got to. I was planning on doing this stuff anyway. I was like, man, this just too big. I want this the perfect time to show people bigger is not better. Took that carburetor off. That pass y'all just seen, that first one, that joke went an 870 on the head. 870. I said, man, what? I can get that double to go 860 in the road. I just got it. Everything I go right. We had a little, it turked the tires a little bit. Man, I can get that double to go 870, I mean an 860 in the road on no 14s. A little slim 14. No burnout, dry, no tire pressure, just meant nothing. I can get that double to go 860, man. And that, I'm telling you, I'm going to do it. What I'm going to do, they're going to be my sleeper car. 
I'm gonna put some coilovers on that car. We're gonna do coilovers. It's gonna be all sleeper profile, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to change the. Uh, I'm not going to change the look of it. I'm not putting no racing wheels on it. I'm not putting no uh, big wheels on it. None of that. If I ever do, and people keep saying, man, put some, I'm not putting wheels on everything. That ain't that ain't me. I like that car on sleeper profile. I'm not putting a flow shift in it. I'm going to take them gauges off the pillar. I'm going to put me a shift light in the in the glove box like I did uh, John Jones because I want to keep John Jones' sleeper profile. That's all I need. Everything else going to be in the dash working. Temp. All of that stuff gonna work in the dash. So I'm gonna put that in there in the glove box. When I need the shield, I got the light. But well, we want an 870, man. We want an 870 today. That knocked off almost three tenths. That about a three tenths difference almost. That's 0.29 seconds different. It's two tenths and nine uh, and nine hundredths of a second. Uh so Bigger ain't better. I told y'all, I said they're gonna go faster off top. Straight, just straight boom, 870. And no, it can go at 860, man. I know it can go at 869, so I'm gonna say three tenths. It knocked three tenths off just changing the intake and carburetor and downsizing. So, bigger ain't better, man. And when I change the heads and I put the heads on there, we we might we might dip down into the cell on hard time. We might dip down into a 790 on a hard time, man, when I change the heads and I spec. I change the heads in the uh, head gasket and put my spec on there. It'll probably dip on down, man. And the rocker arms and stuff, when I change it, it might dip on down lower. Gonna keep it dual plane intake, cause they good for low end torque, street driving. Uh, and I'm gonna keep the RPM range, cause that, that, that car, that car don't even take 6,000 RPM to make peak power. Nowhere near 6,000 RPM, so it's a mild cam profile, and uh, I'm just gonna get it better. We're gonna, I'm gonna take y'all along the way. So I want y'all to use this video as a reference that bigger ain't better. You ain't got to have single plane intake all the time. Yeah, it look good. We got that Elderbra air gap on there, dual plane intake, doing what it do, doing what it do. 650, not a 750. And so look at look at look at how much time I knocked off. When I first bought the car and ran it, the car was running. The car ran a 10:20. I'm gonna find the exact time. It might have been low. It might have been higher than that. But uh, it went a 10:20 minimum when I first got it, and now I got it today. We ran an 8:70. Almost than not two seconds off of that car by doing bolt on stuff. And a lot of power comes from your head. So when I go put them heads on there, I change the heads. We're gonna really be working with some. And then uh, I'm going to get the thing running fast as it can go. And then, like I said, i probably sell it and uh, go to a different combo. Uh, I'm going to be undecided on I'm going to be secretive or not. But we're going to end up, I'm going to change the shots on there. I'm going to show you all how suspension, get wiping the crap up in here. I'm going to show you all how suspension matters too a lot when with, when it comes to ET. Cause suspension matter, man. We're gonna get us some car lovers on there, and I might do off the shelf stuff, more more budget oriented. Even though car lovers high, but QA1 is like the cheaper, one of the cheaper brand car lovers you can get. Um, on the performance side, they good. Like I said, we might go. I'm gonna go double adjustables. We might go QA1 double adjustables in all corners, uh, and try out the QA1s on the performance side for people. Cause people usually give them just for ride height, but try them on the performance side. I got QA1s on the truck, but that's only because that's what came on there when I bought it. Uh, and I ain't never tinkered with those, the valving and the QA1, but y'all know Vikings. I got Vikings on Dolo, custom valve, and custom valve on uh, meat. And we got QA1 single adjustments in the front of R&B, but just for the purpose of ride height. That's why I got single adjustments. But uh, if we're just the valving in the, in the shops, then I can make it perform even better, but... I said I'm gonna do everything on a sleeper profile. I'm gonna put the nice shots on there. And that probably be it, man. I ain't gonna do nothing there. I ain't doing no power add on that car, no nitrous, no none of that. It's just gonna be the shop car. But I'm happy, man. 870. Like I said I could get it to go faster. You just gotta play with the shield points. I might put it on the dyno. Uh, I might put it on the dyno just to see where it make peak horsepower at. It ain't gonna be high, I guarantee it don't make peak horsepower. Probably it probably 5500 RPM, if that. It might make peak power at 5,000 RPM and see 
If it, if it make peak power at 5,000 RPM, then my shield point's on the money. I ain't over shifting it, but um, I'm, I might do that too, man. And it ain't it ain't gonna put down a lot of power. It ain't it ain't gonna put down a lot of power. They call with that combination it make now. I mean, with that combination now, that car probably makes 320, 330 horsepower to the wheels, for real. It probably make 320, 330 to the wheel, man. That that's about it. That's about it. Judging on the weight of that car and what it run, it probably make about 320, 330, based on what it ran. Cause I know how. I know what R and B. What R and B would do making 300 horsepower to the wheel in the road. I know exactly what R and B will do. So it probably 320, 330 to the wheel somewhere up in there. It wasn't that at first, obviously, but we got some more power just changing that stuff. But uh, yeah, man, that's it. It's a good uh, video, like I said. Uh, and I included y'all see I included the old runs and stuff in there, so y'all can see. I think I had outside view of one of them anyway. So. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all later. BCG, we out.